getting started. Load your clothes into the washer, close the door. Press power to turn on the washer. Choose your wash cycle accordingly. Start. You can adjust the wash cycle to what it may be. Then you can adjust the temperature that you choose for different clothing. You can change the soil level to increase or decrease the wash time to remove different amounts of soil. And then spin, changing the spin speed changes the final spin speed of the cycles. Pre-soak button is for soaking your garments prior to the wash cycle. This option begins with a brief tumble and then proceeds to soak the clothes with water and detergent for a specified period of time. Once complete, the cycle will begin automatically. Pre-soak must be selected prior to pressing start. Stain wash. The stain wash modifier can be used with all cycles except rinse and spin and tub and clean and is pre-programmed with the ideal wash and rinse settings to tackle common stains. The delay wash. You can delay the start of a wash cycle for up to 24 hours. Press the delay wash button to choose the amount of time you want to delay the start of the wash cycle. Extra rinse. This option allows for an extra rinse during a cycle to remove excess dirt and detergent from soiled loads. Extended tumble. This will tumble the clothes for an additional hour once this is on. Volume is just the volume of all the beeps. When you press the buttons, you can hold it for three seconds and it will shut off all the sound. And lock controls, hold for three seconds, and this will lock in any settings that you have so no one can come and change any settings that you have set. Have your wash with the temp button. Extra hot, hot, warm, cold. Spin cycle, max, high, medium, low, no spin and soil, whether the clothes are dirtier than normal or not, you can adjust it with that button. Cleaning the pump filter. Due to the nature of the front load washer, it is sometimes possible for small articles to pass to the pump. The washer has a filter to capture lost items so they are not dumped to the drain. To retrieve lost items, clean out the pump filter. Using a small flathead screwdriver, pull the cover off. Pull down the pour spout. You'll have to put a dish under here to, to, for the water that may come out. You unscrew the, the cover, remove any debris, put it back on, lift this up, replace the cover. When using fabric softeners, bleach, or anything like that, residue will build up to remove this tray. You push this button here tray comes out, clean, clean any residue, and then put the tray back into its spot. Getting started with the dryer, once clothes are in, press power, adjust your dry cycle. Sanitize button. This option reduces certain types of bacteria by 99.9%. The antibacterial process occurs when high heat is used during a portion of the drying cycle. Do not use this cycle on delicate fabrics. The delay dry button. Used to delay the start of your dryer. Choose your dry cycle and any options. Press delay dry. You can change the delay time in one hour increments up to 24 hours. Press the start button. Your clothes will dry according to the time you put in. The damp alert. This option causes the dryer to beep when clothes have dried to a damp level. Remove items that you wish to hang dry. The damp alert will only beep when this option is selected and the dryer will continue to dry. The extended tumble button. Minimizes wrinkles by adding approximately 60 minutes of no heat tumbling after clothes are dry. The beeper will sound every five minutes as a reminder to remove the clothes. 
volume just controls the beep sound you can eliminate it by holding it in it will shut it off lock controls hold in for three seconds then no one can change the settings you have programmed in then you can adjust the temperature for higher heat medium heat whatever you prefer depending on the clothes the level of dryness more dry dry less dry damp whatever you prefer and start For each cycle, make sure the lint is cleaned out, then replace it. This is the Follett water and ice dispenser. This button here, water, this button here, ice. To clean it without interrupting any of these functions, there's a button under here you press once lights are off now you can clean do what you have to do empty the tr tray full of ice press the button again now it's back on now to service the machine clean it the in inside you have to hold this button until the maintenance wrench light comes on the machine shuts down now you unscrew this here, pull the tray out, remove these two screws here and the whole face will open up. Then you can remove ice for cleaning, remove the tube to run this, the cleaning solution through the unit and then put it back in this procedure. Put the face back, two screws back in, put the tray back in, screw this back in. And then hold the button back here until the machine starts up again. This is the Summit refrigerator with the locking option. Adjustable shelves can be removed to clean. The temperature setting is right here with the manual light switch. This is the Perlick self-contained ice maker. To prevent corrosion on the stainless steel exterior, wipe the exterior occasionally with a clean and soft cloth. Use a damp cloth containing a neutral cleaner to wipe off oil or dirt buildup. To clean the storage bin, switch the control switch to the off position then you can remove the ice either with your hands or the plastic scoop provided this is the Advantium oven which also has microwave options these are all your choices uh, speed cook you control and select options by turning the knob Food menu, food recipes, you push it in. Appetizers, push it in. Bagel bites, cheese sticks, whatever your option is. However many servings, it's pretty much self-explanatory. And it goes. You can bake or broil. Bake broil whichever you choose push the button preheat the oven yes or no we'll just say no select the broil time one hour use the rack and cooking sheet push the button it goes Cancel. microwave i'm going to cook food type bacon eggs whatever your choice may be select it cooks popcorn. Cancel. If you want to warm your food, hold food warm, pick your temperature low, medium, or high, choose it, moist or crisp, choose it. Uh, reheat. Choose whatever you're reheating, chicken.
Once the oven is powered, these are all your selections you can make, oven or microwave. One thing to remember is when using the oven, use the metal tray with the metal rack. Microwave is the glass tray. Do not put the metal into the microwave. Uh, you have a speed cook option. You scroll through with this knob here to choose what you want. Press it in to pick. Popcorn, start. Insert food. And it goes to bake or broil. Choose bake or broil with this knob. Broil. Preheat the oven, yes or no. No. Select toast time. Use the rack. Start. Simple as that. Everything here self explanatory. Uh, for the microwave, let's clear this. Microwave, you can express cook in 30 second intervals by just hitting the button. Cancel. Microwave, you can cook by the food type. Delay the start. Cook by time. Heat, reheat. Slow cook. Soften. Cook by the food type. Whatever you want. Push the knob. Start when ready. This is the cooking element control system. This prevents anyone from turning the stove slash convection oven slash microwave on or off without permission. First, you press start. The code is zero six four one two with this arrow now you press start and the oven is on once you press stop the oven will shut down you will have to re-enter the password to start it up again you are able to pause it this way your two hour time limit does not run out while you're in the middle of doing what you're doing this is the summit refrigerator with the locking option. Adjustable shelves can be removed to clean. The temperature setting is right here with the manual light switch. The GE profile refrigerator slash freezer. Freezer is on the bottom with ice and storage down at the bottom. Refrigerator controls are here. Tell the temperature of the freezer and refrigerator. You can set a door alarm if the door is left open. Ice maker light is on to produce ice. You can lock the controls that you set so no one else can change them. And then there's a reset filter button that once the filter is changed, you reset it. So it gives you the proper amount of time and will alarm you when it's time to change the filter again. Shelves are all adjustable. The filter is up here. Pull this out, change the filter. Once you're done with that, you immediately run water to purge the system of any air. This is your water dispenser here. Inside the refrigerator can be cleaned with uh, wet rags. The exterior, you have to use a stainless steel cleaner. GE microwave, typical controls in the front, popcorn, beverage, vegetable, reheat, potato, defrost, uh, cook time, whatever time you want, start. You can pause it, open it up, adjust what you need to adjust, press start. Then if you want to cancel it, you cancel it, open it up, take out whatever you need to take out. Um, stainless steel cleaner on the front of this, glass cleaner on the face, just a regular wet rag on the inside, remove the plate so you can clean it better. You can remove this little wheel there.